everything we have involves cybersecurity in some way. I think that I've naturally in my life been drawn to public service and that is ultimately what led me to decide to pursue a career in the military. The Marine Corps was what allowed me to begin pursuing you know, my educational path at WGU. The Department of Defense had just started this professional certification path you know, where people in our field had to have certain certifications in order to do our job. I needed to do both things. I needed to be able to pursue my, deg my degree and pursue advanced technical certifications. WGU not only allowed me to pursue my bachelor's, you know, get my undergrad degree, but it also gave me the certifications that I needed by completing those course requirements. Uh, you know, so it was, I was able to take care of both at the same time as a real time saver. I knew that I ultimately wanted to transition from just doing IT to doing cybersecurity specifically. After that first professional introduction that I had to it, I knew that was a field that I wanted to grow in, uh, grow in professionally. It's a great honor to work in all of the positions that I've been in. So I've served as the CIO for Coast Guard Intelligence, served as the CIO for Naval Intelligence. I was able to go up to the state of Vermont and serve as their statewide CISO before coming back here and working at the White House as the federal cybersecurity lead supervising the cybersecurity work for the Federal Chief Information Officer. My current role as the CISO for Public Sector at Lumen Technologies, I just get to help people solve problems every day. You know, it's not really about solving technical problems, it's about solving people problems, about solving problems in the real world that happen to be something that we need technology to do. Being named a top 10 CISO to watch by Washington is like, a great honor, uh, but it's also a burden. It's a, it's a future looking recognition of this is somebody that everybody should keep their eyes on to see what they're doing in the future, uh, which means that now the pressure's really on. We're living in a technology-connected world, but it also means we've greatly enhanced our attack surface within cybersecurity, so it really means that it's in high demand now for people to continue to pursue cybersecurity professional education and enter that field because the demand just continues to grow.